really nice. Yes, so definitely. Do you see the color of the fish? Exactly what I'm talking about. This one is finished. Welcome back in the kitchen with Chef Okada cooking show. Well, today we're gonna to make you some escabeau fish. Um, basically, I wanna simply say to you, the kind of fish which I'm using, it's um, odok, odok filet. Odok filet is, you know, I mean, you can get that anywhere, local shop, supermarket, or uh, some people call it filet fish, but it's, um, it's odok filet. Um, basically, I'm gonna do some escabeau fish. Now, I'm gonna do escabeau fish, you're supposed to cut it like a finger cut, but I'm gonna do them a little bit whole the same way. I got a few pieces which cut, but I'm gonna fry them like this. So, this is the way they look. But we wanna put some season and get it marinated first. But before we go any further, let's show you guys what I have. I got some season right here. Basically, as you can see, I have white onion spring onion, garlic cut up, I got some carrot and some mixed peppers Spring and some spring onion again, thyme, you know what I mean, right here, pepper and all these things. So we'll go right into the further of explaining further down the line. Inside of this bowl I have some plain flour also and I got two medium sized egg but we'll get there. Alright, so what we want to do, we want to marinate the fish and the flour together all right those two things is the main thing so basically i'm gonna simple pop just a little bit of pepper coarse pepper on the fish like this a little bit also in the flour um second thing i'm gonna put a pinch of paprika also on the fish and a pinch of paprika inside of the flour All purpose season is the same thing. A pinch of all purpose season on the fish and a pinch also in the flour. Um, I got some fish season which I'm gonna use also. So one teaspoon of fish season and a teaspoon also in the flour lovely and nice I got some grounded fermenter just a little pinch not too much just a pinch and the same pinch also in the flour so basically what I want to simply say to you if you're at home and you're saying what chef have been doing I don't know what kind of season you're using you can use your kind of season where you normally use to marinate your fish, but I'm just showing you how you can fry it at home, making some escabeau fish. All right? Simple, use a spoon and just mix up the flour like this. Or a fork. I'm using a fork. Sorry, guys. Lovely. Um, the fish. What you can do is simply pop a little bit of olive oil or vegetable oil on it like this. Just to free it up. And basically I'm not going to put any salt on the fish because the reason why most of these seasons do got salt. So, as you can see, this is the flour. The flour is ready. So put the flour on the side. Then this is the fish. Basically, make sure you put on the gloves. like this and a simple rub up the fish like this together guys all right nice and lovely but i'm not gonna use any salt because most of these season already have salt and fish is very easy to fry fish is not hard to fry lovely and nice 
Some just marinate up the fish like that. Then put a little bit of white onion and some fresh thyme, fresh garlic and some spring onion also add it and just simple give it a little rub just to get a little flavor from it from the, the season all right lovely then next thing put this at the side because that has finished Get two eggs. That's one. Two. Egg is very important. And a pinch of milk. Roughly two tablespoons of milk. use the fork and beat it some people might blend it or whisk it lovely get back the fish and simple pour it all over the fish like this Lovely. Then put down this for roughly about 10 to 15 minutes. Then we're gonna get the frying pan get hot now. So that's what you're gonna do. That's the first thing we need to do. Then the second thing what you're gonna do is put your fish right here and put your flour right here. We're gonna show you how to fry the fish. Alright? Nice and lovely. So I've got a medium sized frying pan with some oil inside of it. So basically what we're gonna do, my old school style is gonna put yeah, to see if the oil is hot. Yes, the oil looking good. Let's get in there. Pepper. And some fresh thyme. Two clover garlic. Get in the flavor. So that's the flavor I need from the, the season. First thing we need to do after is in the meantime the oil is getting hot is the egg wash here the fish like this straight in the flour after you put it to the flour the simple Shake it off like this. Alright? And now we're gonna put it straight in the deep fry. Straight in the deep fry like this. Look at that. That is fantastic, guys. One of the best way you could ever fry fish at home. That's for beef fish. Lovely and nice, and you can see exactly where Chef Scott is all about with this fried fish there. And this one is the adult filet, really good. Looking so lovely and fantastic. So basically, you want to get that lovely color. So basically, what I would do, I would see all the side look. Turn it over to the other side. And you want to get that lovely perfect color. Really nice. Nice and lovely. See, turn over this one. One. That one. And you want to 
I get that lovely colour. Yes! So definitely, do you see the colour of the fish? Exactly what I'm talking about. This one is finished. Alright? This are the colour we are talking about. That lovely, nice, lovely, pretty colour. Goldish colour. Alright? This is finished, guys. So I'm taking out this one. But I have more to fry. But I'll just show you exactly where I am about with this lovely SW fish. And as you can see, here the fish looking lovely and nice. So, I'm gonna fry some more. But as you can see, where I am about with this fish, all right? And then we're gonna show you to fry up the veg. Enjoy the recipe. Nice and lovely. So as you can see, I just finished that lovely fish. Fantastic guys, really nice. As you can see, the way it looking lovely and nice. Right over here, I have some seasoning which I'm gonna fry it off. Peppers, white onion and some carrot to put over the fish. Enjoy the recipe. So as I can see, I got two, four, six pieces of a fish. And it's Escobie fish. Um, is a duck you can get that fish anyway in the local shop supermarket or uh, if you like fish with bone is up to you enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the channel thank you so much guys nice and lovely so basically what I'm gonna do pop a little bit of oil inside of my frying pan like this because my frying pan is on the stove about three four minutes now put a little bit of heat and put all of my veg inside of it. Let's save the oil already. Almost there. Um, basically, I want to simply say to you, you can add vinegar inside of it or lemon. A little bit of salt, a little peppers and stuff. But we're not going to add none of these things today. I'm just going to just fry up this because I want my baby to eat some fish too. All right? So we're just going to saute off this in for about a minute or a second and at a high temperature. A little bit of pepper. That's all I'm going to put on it. Some people put lemon juice or white vinegar, but I don't think my daughter going to be enjoying that. So, you know what I mean? And I don't put any scotch body pepper inside of it. Some people put scotch body pepper. So, as I say, you can add those things when you do your one at home. But my little daughter won't have it. So, <laughs> and I want she to have some. So I'm just doing it away where she can eat it, all right? So we're gonna saute this out for about four to five minutes. Nice and lovely. So now this season is finished, and this is my fish. So basically, I'll just simple Put it on it just like this. Oh man, look at that man. So basically what I did, I rest it on a piece of a napkin just to get rid of some of the grease. And as you can see, it looking lovely and fantastic, really nice. So hopefully you will enjoy the recipe. As I say, you could add scotch, bonnet, pepper, more stuff to eat, but I'm not because my daughter needs some fish. So enjoy the recipe. Thank you so much for watching the cooking show and hopefully we can come up with better and best recipe for you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.